All right, guys, I'm back with another uh, edit tutorial. I want to go more depth into, you know, what I do when I retouch. Last video, I just kind of quickly showed you what I did. But this time, I want to go, like, a little more deep in, in detail. If you hear that some kind of squeaking in the background, that's my intern. For some reason, he wants to rock in the chair. But, you know, uh, that, that's what you hear in the background, you know. So... I'm going to get into it. So the first thing I do is I copy the layer. Now the next step, I use the patch tool for this to get like the, the real noticeable blemishes. You can use the patch tool or you can use the, um, what is it called, the spot healing. Uh, right here, spot healing brush, you know, whatever works for you. I can show you how both of them works. I'm going to use the spot healing brush first. So this way it does just click it and it automatically kind of replaces it with something else so you know whatever your preference you know i just show you how it works but my preference is the patch tool because i just like to have more control over where my blemish goes you know so so basically all you gotta do is just get the real noticeable ones uh you don't have to get everything just the real big ones, and I'm I'm gonna sh explain to you why later on. But right now, just getting those real noticeable ones, you know. I chose this picture because it was more up close and more details, so I can really actually show you what's going on. You can see the, the difference. All right, so that's done. Uh, I really don't see any more big details. So now let's get into it. Let's get uh, more. Wait, I see one more thing. Uh, no, I can fix that later. All right. So now the next thing to do is uh, frequency separate. So I have uh, actions for that. I can post the actions in the bio for you. Uh, the link to the actions in the bio. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use this advanced frequency separation. So, now, this is the part I didn't explain in the last video, so how to get the, your uh, radius. So, you're going to put it all the way down to zero. And you see those details right there, right? So, what you're going to do, you're going to bring it up until the details go away. Just drag it up until it goes away. Now, me, personally, I don't drag it all the way up like this. And I'll explain why later. But, I kind of keep it where... It shows a little detail, but not much. So, right at about four would be good for this picture. I right, so hit OK. Let it do what it do. All right, now. So, the next step is, well, I always start with the low frequency. I get the um, mixer brush. And make sure your mixer brush is clean and make sure the the paint is off. Make sure you have a clean brush right here and make sure the paint is off. And these settings, these are settings that I use, but you can kind of play around with it to see whatever works for you. But this is the setting that I use for the, uh, the wet, low mix and flow of the brush. All right, so first off, let's start here like this. I don't dodge and burn, guys. I know a lot of people dodge and burn. A lot of people say, why you don't dodge and burn? I don't dodge and burn, but you're about to see why. So the way I blur the skin or smooth the skin, I dodge and burn as I do it. So as a beginner, I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to turn off the um, high frequency separation layer. Oh, I thought it was... Okay, that's off. So I'm going to turn off the high frequency uh, layer so you can actually see what's going on. Because when you actually doing this, you can't really see it. It's not really that noticeable. But I want to I show you something now. So the reason why I didn't get all those other small blemishes, because see how you can see them here now. And this is why I didn't use a high radiance. Because if I would use a high radiance, then you wouldn't see those blemishes. So I use a kind of low radiance so you can see those other blemishes and you can just smooth those out. Like watch, let me show you. So I always start with the highlights. So I kind of brush here, the 
highlights. Because all you're doing with the mix bar, you just, you're just mixing those colors together. So you see, I started with the highlights, then I kind of moved over in the next section of, of her skin. But you see how those blemishes go, go away? Because all you're doing is mixing those colors together. And notice how I'm staying in the section that I'm in. I'm not kind of going all over the place when I'm brushing. I'm staying in the section. And I'm, I'm going in the, the motion of the color. I'm not going this way because it'll do this. Yeah, you don't want that. So you want to go in the motion of the actual color, right? So in here in the forehead, see the highlight right here? Just go ahead and blend it in right there. Make a big brush to blend all this together. See how I'm changing the size the sizes of my brush? This is why. So if I use a big brush the whole time and I try I want to come in here and I start brushing right here. What it's gonna do is gonna start pulling these colors from a braid. You don't want that. So you wanna use that smaller brush to kind of stay away from the braid in the area. So use a small brush where it's necessary, but you kinda of wanna keep the brush big because you wanna blend all this stuff together, you know. But only use it when it's necessary. Alright, so we're going to this part of her face. See how I'm only brushing the mo in the motion of how the colors are. I'm not going the opposite way of the colors. I'm going in the motion of the colors. I hope they don't want to call me while I'm doing this. All right. All right. I'm trying to make it quick, but kind of detailed at the same time. So y'all can kind of get what's going on or get how the process of this is. Because when I was learning, honestly, I... I didn't know what was going on when I was kind of learning. I, I kind of, I knew what was going on, but it was like, it took me a long time just to be like, oh, now I get it. So that's why I'm kind of breaking it down to show y'all, like, the understanding of why you do certain things. So you see, I'm going into motion. You don't want to go opposite, you want to go in that motion. And then this bag right here. Do that. This the only time I will obviously because I want to push this color up to her eye like that to get rid of that little bag. Right there. Put a little, see, you want to keep those everything that's there, you want to keep that. You don't want to take away the highlights or the shadow. You want to keep all of that there. So now I only did half of the face so far. So I'm going to show you just with the high frequency layer on it to show you how it looks. So you see, that's the texture. All the detail is still there, but it's smooth. Now I'm going to show you before and after. So it's before, this the after. You see the difference? Before, after. So that detail is still there. That's what that's the whole point of the high frequency uh, layer. So I'm gonna cut it back off just to finish the face. Real simple, you know. And then like I said, this way you won't have to dodge and burn because you basically dodging and burning as you go. That's why I, I say I start with the highlights. Cause you wanna because all dodging and burning is you just Detailing the highlights and the shadows. That's basically what Dodge and Burning is. So I'm doing all that as I blur the skin. Some people blur the skin or smooth the skin and then Dodge and Burn. You know, that's great. It, it, it looks great. I don't have anything against that. Me personally, I just don't like to do it because I don't have the patience. <laughs> so I just go ahead and try to do as much Dodge and Burning here. I can to go ahead and kill two birds and one stone. Cause you see this is a lengthy process. Like think about doing 20 pictures like this and then you dodge and burn. 
That'll take you forever. But this way, it's a little faster. Cause you dodge it as you go. And you burn it as you go. I'm going pretty quick just to try to make this video as short as possible. Because the hardest part is really the face. You know, because you got all these different highlights and shadows and stuff all in the face. Alright, so chest area, just go ahead and just get all this again. Some people don't, don't even edit the chest or the arm, they just only edit the face. I like to edit the whole body. Because I want to make just everything look good. I don't want the, the face to be perfect and then the rest of the body to look good. Yeah. So, I just do everything, all the skin, I edit all the skin. Sometimes I edit the hair, the hair, <clears throat> the hair and the clothes too. But not all cases, only when it's necessary. Like her clothes she has on now, doesn't really need touched because it has like different textures and stuff. But she had like a smooth, one solid color. And she may have wrinkles or something and I can I'd get rid of the wrinkles. Like if you follow my Instagram, I'm a, I put my Instagram here for those that don't follow me. I posted a time lapse of a shoot I did, and her jacket was wrinkled. And I, in, in the time lapse, it showed how I kind of got rid of the wrinkles. I may do a video on that. I don't know, maybe one day. But it's basically the same step as this. So yeah, just get those on. And like I said, this is the reason why I don't use a high radius. Because it still shows those certain uh, details. And by you smoothing them, it's going to make the picture look a lot better. You know, but it's still going to retain the details because you kept some of it in there on the, on the other layer. You know, as I showed you in the face. So I'm almost done. You see how I always start with the highlights and then kind of work my way around with everything else almost done the more i do youtube videos the more i get better at talking because right now i kind of laid back because you know it's just the way i am Maybe I'll, I'll get more energetic in the future to make these videos more entertaining. Make sure stories too or something. I don't, I don't know. I have a lot of stories. If you catch my lives, you, you'll hear some of my stories. I, I go live on YouTube to uh, do edits sometimes. So check those out. Make sure you subscribe so you can catch those lives. All right. This is pretty much it. Now watch when I put the the high layer back on there. Look at that. See? Detail and all back. Didn't lose no detail. And that's basically it, y'all. So that's a kind of in-depth breakdown. I know it's not that in-depth. But, you know, I, I, I want to make my videos short, you know. What I'm doing now, I'm just kind of going back in just detailing some of the certain spots because I, I don't normally uh edit with the higher layer off i just did it for this tutorial i made it normally just like this but yeah but that's basically how i do it so hopefully you learned something if you didn't you know comment make your comments let me know what, what i should do better let me know what you want to see better say see y'all later make sure you subscribe y'all